Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be making a funky looking little house for Mama Murphy so she can uh, give her visions of the future in exchange for some cats. I wanted this place to be kind of out of the ordinary and uh, I mostly built it with the uh, place anywhere and I used a lot of the, or not a lot, but some of the assets from uh, the custom vanilla assets mod by Tim Timon. And if you haven't checked out that mod yet, I really recommend you to do so. It adds so many assets. What you'll see me use here is actually just a tiny, tiny smidge of what that mod adds. Might be a little bit uh, messy mod and takes a little bit time to get used to, but it's uh, well worth it. The creator of the mod, he made it so the items go into separate uh, tabs that you have to activate outside uh, the workshop mode. Pretty much, so you won't uh, overflow your workshop menu. Yeah, so as I said, I wanted this to be a uh, kind of unusual structure, and I ended up with a round structure. And instead of just using the wall, uh, wooden walls, I mixed it up uh, with some trees. The trees I used are from the custom vanilla assets mod, and uh, what I used for the roof later on is also from the same mod. You'll be seeing me use the place anywhere too, uh, almost throughout this uh, build. And uh, yeah, the place anywhere too can be a little finicky to work with uh, sometimes. It, it might not uh, pick up what you want it to. But I saw there was an update recently that had some, uh, some, some extra tools to place as close as possible to the item you want to pick up with the place anywhere too. And that should make it easier to pick up the exact items that you want to move. Yeah, some people they say that you lose creativity by using a place anywhere too. But I really beg to differ. I, I don't think you lose creativity at all. This might be true if you... Yeah, it was not just that creative to begin with, maybe? As for me, I really had a creative spike after installing the place anywhere too. And now I don't uh, have to spend half my time using those rugs in the pillar. So we're starting to see the, the shape I was going for here now. I wanted it to have like a shaman-esque feel to it. I didn't bother with uh, putting in any floors of any kind for this place. And uh, I think it actually fits in very well with the uh, mystery fortune teller shaman hood look I was going for anyways. And uh, with that uh, tall grass, I would have uh, had to put the whole structure a little higher up. Originally, I was going for a very much more uh, advanced build than this, based uh, on a picture from Fallout Wars concept art that uh, Monster Barton sent over to me. But I realized if I was gonna go for something like that, uh, it would make this uh, video at least 30 minutes to an hour long. And I think that uh, would really not be uh, so very interesting to watch. Have you guys seen Monster Barbell's uh, Wasteland build, by the way? I think it's the most epic thing ever made on the PS4. Or, except the uh, Verti Perti's uh, uh, recreation of Asher's uh, relativity. And uh, I absolutely recommend you go check out both those builds. They are completely insane in uh, very different ways. Those two guys are my absolute favorite builders. And uh, I I I'll leave a link to both their builds in, uh, in the comment section. Some of the walls I put down here I added some uh, extra details to from the CVA mod, place in uh, some, you know, some some planks uh, on the outside, just to spice it up a little bit and not make it look so boring. And uh, out outside I actually uh, put in some guards uh, to stand outside Mama Murphy's little house here. Normally I actually use the arena post 
for making uh, cards outside building. That's uh, because I like the animation where the, the guys are standing with uh, their guns out. But uh, when you use uh, the arena post for guards, uh, it's better to have them close to the enemy spawn point. Because I've tested it out and uh, that they don't uh, move anywhere uh, unless they're close to the enemy. I really don't like the animation for the guards standing on the guard post in this game. It just seems kinda silly to stand guard without any weapon ready. Here you can see me using the make static mod, uh, mainly because I wanted uh, the skulls to uh, have their jaw open here, but it ended up being kind of pointless. Uh, after I made a fast travel and came back to Sanctuary, uh, they had their jaws shut. The make static mod or make static uh, decorator tool, uh, as it's called, uh, is also a mod made by Tim Timmel. And uh, what it does is uh, it, you, you can choose uh, junk items uh, for making a static, so you won't have to worry about anyone knocking them over, or, uh, or worry about the items falling through shelves or floors. I added some uh, fallen trees to go around uh, the structure. And it, uh, it, it flips through a little bit, but uh, in the end it, it doesn't really matter, I think, for this build. Nothing too special about this, just using the same uh, fallen tree all around the little house here. Just to, to give it uh, a little different look. I actually forgot to make uh, any footage of me putting in the room, but uh, it's uh, from the custom vanilla assets mod as well. It's uh, from the trees menu, and uh, it's just uh, a bunch of roots and uh, grass. Well, I think it fits in very well with the look I was going for here. And uh, in the end, here I added some uh, junk from the CVA mod just uh, to make uh, the outside uh, not look so blank. And uh, putting in extra details always makes the build stand out a little more and uh, look a little more believable, in my opinion. I also added some plants that we won't see uh, until the finished tour. I'm not uh, actually completely sure, but I, I think they are from uh, the Unlock Settlement Objects mod by Andrew ZX. And uh, those plants are only for decoration, so you won't have uh, any annoying settlers uh, standing there in a weird position tending the plants.
Alright, so we'll uh, head into the finished turn in just a little moment here. Work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Take care of yourself, dear. I need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Biggest town I ever saw. So I hope you guys liked uh, my little Mama Murphy house here, and uh, until the next time, I wish you all a good time, see ya!